Hello and welcome to Strategic Finance Tips from the Startup Station. This is our new rubric that we're launching this month. This video deals with a very common problem, which is we spend too much and uh, we don't really understand how much we can spend so that we end up not controlling our costs, right? So what is the situation you may find yourself in? You built a great product, you're generating revenue, everything is wonderful. However, you just can't get your costs under control, okay? You and your staff regularly overspend. You don't know what's wrong. You don't understand why that happens. You seem to be doing the budgeting. Nobody follows the budget. Some costs occur that you did not plan for, et cetera, et cetera. What happens as a result? Your margins suffer, obviously, right? You spend more than you thought. Your profitability decreases, your cash flow dwindles and turns negative, okay? And that what that means for you, which is really critical here, is that because you have less cash left, you can't invest as much in growth, and so your growth slows down as well, right? So it's all interconnected. So, you know, just the fact that you may have overspent here, you don't really think that that's going to have really negative implications for your company, but it does if this behavior continues. Why does this happen? Okay. Lack of analytics tools. Okay. Very important. You uh, may um, have inherited, if this is a business that's already been uh, uh, around for some time, some legacy systems, and you don't really understand which ones of them are good, which ones of them are bad, right? And how to manage them. And very importantly, you don't have the budget at the right level of detail. Okay, what does it mean? Well, first of all, lacks of analytics tools is a very common problem. 93% of all companies lack that visibility. And the way, of course, to address it would be to create those tools, right? To install those tools and implement those tools so that you have the intelligence to understand what's happening in your business. Right. And then uh, this will also uh, allow you to evaluate your legacy systems and get rid of those um, which are not useful anymore. Correctly manage those which are useful and migrate potentially to some new tools which will allow you to run your business more efficiently. But here's a point number three, which is extremely important. And that is if you have different people spending money, right, they need to know, right, how much money they can spend, whether it's a department head, whether it's a by function, whether it's by geography, however you run your business may be different, but whoever is responsible for uh, uh, any budget allocation, they need to have their own budget. They need to understand how much they can spend. Just like a marketing department has a marketing budget, you may need a budget for supplies. You may need a budget for um, salaries, et cetera. But if you have multiple departments, within each department, there may be a budget for marketing. There may be a budget for supplies. There may be a budget for resources. And if you just have a common budget, well, these departments don't know how much they can spend, which results in overspending, right? So it's very important to uh, create a, a budget for every person right, or every entity in a way or every function which has spending authority. Other reasons why you may experience overspending include lack of internal controls, right? So even if, let's say, you had a situation where there wasn't a budget at the right level of detail, right, and some person tried to spend something, if there was an internal control in place which will say, ah, this will put us over a budget, we need an extra approval, we need to understand why we're incurring that cost, this wasn't uh, planned for, then the um, negative effect of something like this will be managed, right? Maybe in some situations it is justified, in some situations it would not. Uh, no ordering and analysis means that you need to uh, apply those analytic tools that you will install, and you need to see what's going on and analyze and understand where there are issues, right? And where things are going well. And finally, weak infrastructure. So what happens as a result is that you may buy wrong products from expensive providers, right? You don't really have a process for um, evaluating what may be good for you. You may have duplicate vendors, right? If especially if different people are spending the budgets, right? And they don't communicate, there's no central system to um, monitor everything and controls are not in place. 
And then when you have no oversight, right, you make bad decisions, right? You have no oversight and no business intelligence, right? So how can you make uh, <laughs> um, good decisions? You have no um, high level view of what's going on. You only see, you know, your little universe. And um, you uh, also don't really have the tools to see, right, uh, what's going on. You don't have the data to understand that you're making your wrong decision or whether you're making your right decision. So what can we do here? Okay, very specifically, we can create expense and purchase policies and set up controls, right, to adhere to those policies. And this will help manage and mitigate a lot of the overspending issues. We can review vendors and cancel bad or duplicate contracts, right? As an initial assessment stage, we can create a comprehensive audit process for all costs, right? Very importantly, we should create budgets matching the spending point, meaning that every person who is authorized to spend must know what they can spend. And we need to educate them on how to read budgets so that you know, not everybody who's going to be spending budgets is going to be a finance person, but they still need to know what is it they can do, right? So we need to conduct a little bit of finance education. And finally, of course, we need to do reporting uh, and use those analytics tools that we will install to understand what's going on and uh, adjust and monitor our forecasts. So here you go. Uh, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips every week, and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you want to chat more, if something still wasn't clear, there is a link in the description to a survey. And if you fill it out, you'll have a chance to win a free 30-minute consultation with us. And uh, as a token of our gratitude for your spending your time, we will send you a financial health checklist which you can use to assess if your company is doing well. Thank you and I will see you next week.